featuring Lawrence Welk and the Champagne Music Makers in specially selected shows for public television. Hi friends, I'm Dick Dale and I'm your guest host for tonight's show. I'm here in the village center of the Welk Resort. It's kind of the town square and that seems appropriate because the theme of tonight's show is Lawrence Welk's hometown. Lawrence and the band played in so many different towns and cities over the years and made so many friends in each of them that they really do seem like hometowns. When I joined the Welk Band, my hometown was Algona, Iowa. Then for many years it was in California. And today it's in Tennessee, but more about that later. As Lawrence will soon tell you, the band moved out west from Chicago in 1951. I had just joined them on February 9th of that year in Clinton, Iowa, and I moved right along with them. Guess that's about the best move I ever made. Well, let's join Lawrence and the band right now as they head for the Wild West. is a salute to several cities which have been our hometowns through the years. In 1951, our travels brought us to California to play the Aragon Ballroom. It was here in Los Angeles that we found our lovely champagne lady, Norma Simmer. There's Norma and a scene recalling those days at Ocean Park.
lovely Nama, some real pleasant memories. During the 40s, our band spent quite a bit of time in Dallas, Texas, where we played the Baker and the Adolphus Hotels. And here's the song about Dallas, and we bring you Sissy and Bobby. Boys, let's hear Big Dion. <laughs> I can remember Lawrence telling me about his early days and hard luck times with his band in Texas. But when I joined the band years later, he was doing a lot better. It was a big change for me, not so much the traveling, because I'd been on the road since I was 16. But I had just left a band called the Six Fat Dutchman. And anyone who is into polka dancing will remember Harold Loffemucker and the Six Fat Dutchman. The wild part of the band was there weren't six of us, we weren't fat, and most of us weren't Dutch. Anyway, here's a song that was very popular at the time, the Red River Valley. And to sing it, two of the most popular singers who ever appeared on the Lawrence Welk show, Guy and Roman. From this valley they say you are going, we will miss your bright eyes and sweet smile. My memory serves me correctly, and it better, because I just looked it up. The Red River forms the entire border between Oklahoma and Texas. Lawrence often toured through that area, as most regional bands did. One of the reasons for the Welk Band's early popularity was of its make-you-want-to-dance rhythm. 
not just for polkas, but waltzes and foxtrots too. Dancers loved it. Here's a sample of that sound, Dolores. <laughs> from Pittsburgh reached a large audience. Naturally, many song pluggers wanted to get their songs on our shows. Here's a song we introduced on one of those broadcasts. Joe Feeney sings it for you. Bob, take it away. <laughs> very proud of the costumer on our show, Rose Wise. She's the lady that's responsible for everyone looking so well-groomed. Here's a number now featuring Ken Delo and some more of our well-dressed gentlemen. There's a pawn shop on the corner in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I walk up and down 'neath the clock. 
by the pawn shop on the corner in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. But I ain't got a thing left to hop. She was peaches, she was honey, but she cost me all my money. Cause the world round the town was her dream. I took her dancing, took her dining, till her blue eyes were shining with the sight that she never had seen. If you should run into a golden-haired angel and ask her tonight for a date, she'll tell you somewhere there's a rich millionaire who is calling again about it. There's a pawn shop on the corner in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I just gotta get five or ten. From the pawn shop on the corner in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Hold it! My ass here. Now if you should run into a golden-haired angel and ask her tonight for a day, she'll tell you somewhere there's a rich millionaire who is calling again about it. There's a pawn shop on the corner in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I just gotta get five or ten. From the pawn shop on the corner in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, gotta be with my angel again. Gotta be with my angel again. Always did say Ken had great taste when it came to clothes. You know, Pittsburgh was a very important hometown in the Welk history because that's where champagne music got its name. Someone told Lawrence that his music reminded them of bubbles in champagne. So all the guys became champagne music makers, and the girl's singer, Lois Best at that time, was the very first in a long line of champagne ladies. Probably the best known are Roberta Lynn, Alice Lawn, and our lovely champagne lady of today, Norma Zimmer. I had the pleasure of doing duets with both Roberta and Alice, but it seemed that Jim Roberts always had the pleasant task of singing with Norma. Well, better get on with the history of Lawrence Welk's hometowns. Here he is to tell you about the next one. There was really a milestone in our career when we played the Roosevelt Hotel in New York City following Gal Lombardo. This next segment of our show features songs about New York. Let's start on Broadway. <laughs>
here you saw one of New York's finest joining in the fun. You know, you don't have to be a New Yorker to enjoy this song about Manhattan. Tanya sings it for you with some wonderful backing by Henry Cuesta and our rhythm section. I have Manhattan, the Bronx and Staten Island too. It's lovely going through. It's very fancy on old Delancey Street, you know. The flowers always show wherever you may go. And tell me what street compares with Mott Street in July. Sweet push carts always glide by. The great big cities a wondrous world just made for a boy and girl. I'll take Manhattan, an island of joy. Greater New York is celebrating its 75th anniversary. Our good friend composer, Lou Alter, is a member of the Diamond Jubilee Committee. Here's one of his most famous compositions, written in tribute to the many moods of New York. Bob Rossman plays Manhattan Serenade. <laughs> I mentioned a while ago that I have a new hometown now, and it's a long way from Manhattan, and a longer way from California. In fact, it's in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. You might say I've moved from Hollywood to Dollywood, because that's where Dolly Parton has her theme park. But that's not the reason I'm living there. The fact is, Ava Barber and I are now partners in the Rainbow Music Theater in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. We do a country music show, and that's the reason for my attire. Like my belt buckle. <laughs> you know, it's nice to be retired just doing six shows a week from May till November. We're really proud of the show, 
And Ava, who was, was our country gal on the show for eight years, sings her country songs just the best of anyone. And she's quite a comedian, too. <laughs> her husband, Roger Sullivan, plays drums and leads our house band. We have a resident comedian, Fred E. Smith, who has worked with Archie Campbell from the Hee Haw Show. In the last few years, he's worked with Boots Randolph down in Nashville. And I guess we're following in Lawrence's footsteps because we have a, a youth program of our own. Yeah, we have a six-year-old drummer, Zane Harkleroad, who really beats those drums playing Wipeout. He's good. Well, I do everything but take tickets, and I do that, too, sometimes. I sing, MC, tell jokes, do imitations. We have a great time. And if you're ever in East Tennessee, come see us. We'd love to see you. It was kind of hard to leave our California home. My wife, Marguerite, and I and our four children had lived there for almost 40 years. But we're a close family, and we stay in touch, visit each other all the time. There are a lot of nice things in life, but nothing nicer than a loving family and some great kids. I think Lawrence feels the same way. In fact, I know he does. Let's listen as he introduces this next song. The beautiful city of Denver has a very special place in my own collection of memories. Our band was playing the Broadmoor Country Club in the 30s, I should say, our little band, when our first daughter, Shirley, was born. Our pretty girls have a song to recall that occasion. the things I remember about Denver is the way the folks used to enjoy a square dance. One night a week, the ranchers and their pretty girls came down from the Rockies to dance. And oh, did they have fun. Something like this. All four couples bow and swing. First couple out to the right of the ring and circle half. Inside arch and outside under, inside arch and you go like thunder, inside arch and outside under, inside arch and outside under, inside arch and on to the next and circle half. Dive for the oyster, dig for the clam, dig for the folks, hold your hand, open the book and write the check, inside arch and on to the next and circle half. Inside arch and outside under, inside arch and you go like thunder, inside arch and outside under, inside arch and outside under, inside arch and hold you go, everybody swing, swing here, honey, high and low. Meet your 
Honey, now what do you do? Promenade home just to do. When you get home, you balance and swing. Swing her high and swing her low, and around and around and around you go. All joint hands go to the middle and tap your foot to the tune of the fiddle. Ear right back and stretch your best. Swing that gal that you love best. Now bow to the gal across the hall. Thank you, fellas. That's all. That's all. I was driving a rig out of Texas, full loaded and bound for Cheyenne. Just taking my pleasure so freely, because I'm a rambling man. Well, I had quite a way with the lady, sweet daddy was my middle name. Till I got to a place they called Denver, and I ain't never been quite the same. Well, I've been to St. Louis and Abilene. I've rambled through many a town. But I got me a woman in Denver. Lord, that's where I'm settling down. Well, I kissed her and swore that I loved her. I told her someday she'd be mine. Then I laughed all the way back to Texas to think she'd believe that old line. Well, now I got to pining for Denver. It's funny how things come to be. And as I slipped the ring on her finger, well, I knew that the laugh was on me. Well, I've been to St. Louis and Abilene. I've rambled through many a town. But I got me a woman in Denver. Lord, that's where I'm settling down. Now all you young fellas take warning, you single men run for your lives. Be careful and stay out of Denver, or else you end up with the wife. Well, I've been to St. Louis and Abilene, I've rambled through many a town. But I got me a woman in Denver, Lord, that's where I'm settling down. But I got me a woman in Denver. Lord, that's where I'm settling down. Thank you. Yeah, Denver's a great town, all right. I remember the first time I played there with Lawrence at Elitch Gardens. It was early summer, and they had just had a very bad hailstorm. It was so cold that people were dancing with their overcoats on. And everybody in the band looked kind of odd, too. Maybe, maybe well-fed. Well, that's because... All of us were wearing our lightweight summer uniforms, and it was so cold that we had stuffed everything we could find underneath them. Two pairs of socks, long johns, you get the idea. It was cold. In my many years on the show, I saw a lot of newcomers arrive and become part of the musical family. Sometimes it took a little while for them, the audience to warm up to them, but not in this next performer's case. It happened literally overnight after her very first show. Here's Lawrence to introduce her. Chicago was our hometown in the 40s. We played the Aragon and Trianon ballrooms for about nine years and did our radio broadcast over station WGN, which still carries our show on television. All the dancers used to stop and just listen when Jane Walton sang Maria Elena in Spanish. Let's hear it now by Anna Connie. I mean, Mi corazón, oh sol de mi querer, mujer de mi ilusión, mi amor te consagré. Mi vida la embellece, una esperanza azul. Mi vida tiene un cielo que le diste tú. Tuyo es mi corazón, oh sol de mi querer. Tuyo es todo mi ser, tuyo es mujer. Te lo entregué, eres mi fe, eres mi sol. 
Eres mi sol, eres mi amor. I'm sure Jane Walton is watching, and I'm sure she enjoyed that. Chicago has always been a great town for music and musicians. Larry Hooper, Arthur Duncan, and Jack Emmel agree it's my kind of town. My kind of town, Chicago is. My kind of town, Chicago is. My kind of people, too. People who smile at you. Chicago. I tell you, that was my kind of town, too. There I was, fresh from the Six Fat Dutchman, working in the big, windy city, playing with a great band in a gorgeous ballroom. The first time I walked in there, I tell you, this farm boy was in complete awe, because the Trianon was considered to be one of the most beautiful ballrooms in the world. Anyway, there I was, meeting lots of new friends. My hair was black. Ah, those were the days. You know, Chicago is still a great town. No wonder so many great songs were written about it. Here's a band again with an all-time favorite called, strangely enough, Chicago. Chicago, Chicago, that wonderful town, wonderful town, Chicago, Chicago, that toddling town. Thank you. 
Chicago, that wonderful town. Let's see how many of you folks remember this pretty song titled Back Home in Illinois, featuring our very fine saxophone section. Gentlemen, are you ready? A one and two. <laughs> Isn't that a great sax section? That's Henry Cuesta, Bob Davis, Dave Edwards, Russ Klein, and myself. I felt privileged to work with them. Not only were they the greatest players, but the nicest people you'd ever want to meet. Great friends. Now here's Jimmy Roberts. He lives on the Gulf in Florida now. You suppose he's still singing about those harbor lights? Same old harbor line that once brought you to me. I watched the harbor line. How could I help if tears were starting? Goodbye to tender nights beside the silvery sea. I long to hold you near and kiss you just once more. But you were on the ship and I was on the shore. Now I know lonely nights for all the while my heart is whispering. Some other harbor lights will steal your love from me. Thank you, Jimmy, and I guess we can dedicate that song to the many seaport cities where Lawrence has played. You know, Lawrence started playing polka back in his real hometown, Strasburg, North Dakota. Became identified with them on radio in Yankton, South Dakota, and had everybody dancing them in Chicago. So I think the well-known polka, the clarinet polka, would be quite appropriate. Boss, yeah. boss. Okay. One, two, three, four.
Oh. Well, folks, we've been saluting some of our hometowns. Now we're going back to where it all started, my North Dakota home. And the set designed by our art director, Chuck Kuhn, is a very authentic copy of our old farmhouse back in Strasburg, North Dakota. Why did I ever roam far from my home in North Dakota? Why did I roam far away from home, far from my one and all? heart said time to hit the saddle and I kissed my love goodbye now I long to return back to my home in the friends, I guess that's all for tonight. It's always a pleasure to visit with you and remember some of the great times we had together. So wherever you are, whatever your hometown is, here's some good wishes coming your way from Lawrence's new hometown in Escondido and mine in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. So I hear a polka and my troubles are through. Oop -dee -doo. Oop -dee -dee. It's kind of 